we're going to look at two types of special connections since they are so used frequently found in circuit analysis and that's namely the parallel and series connections. We'll start off with the parallel circuit and a parallel circuit is when they form a loop containing no other elements. So for example here we have a loop associated with device 1 and device 2. They form a loop but no other device are connected hence they're connected in parallel. Same thing with device 2 and 3. They form a loop and no other device is connected. So let's write KVLs associated with this two loops. So here notice I labeled everything first so we have a plus and a minus for all of the devices. So we'll start off right here for going through device 1 and device 2. So here that's just minus V1 let me erase that so that's minus V1 plus V2 is equal to zero. That's with this loop right here with device one and device two. Device two will start off here and then we'll go through this loop and we end up here. So we go minus V2 plus V3 zero. So that implies in here at first loop that V1 is equal to V2 and V2 is equal to V3. When we do that, we get V1 is equal to V2, which is equal to V3. So a key characteristic associated with parallel circuits is that when you have device like 1, 2, and 3 connected in parallel, the voltages are the same. Okay? So the voltages are the same for parallel circuits. So when you have elements 1, 2, and 3 connected in parallel, the voltages are the same. So in summary, when you deal with parallel circuits and you have devices connected in parallel, they have the same voltages. So I, let's say I interchange the roles of V device 1 and device 3, where device 3 is here and device 1 is here, they would still have the same voltage across it. Now let's look at a series connection and see what we mean by that. Two elements are said to be connected in series when they have one common node to which no other element is connected. So here we have one and two have a common node at node A but no other device is connected to it. Similarly device two and three have a common node at node B and no other device are connected to it is connected to it. Therefore, these devices 1, 2, and 3 are connected in series. So let's see what a key characteristic is associated with a series connection. So let's apply a KCL at node A and at node A we have at node A we have the incoming current as I1 the outgoing current is minus I2 and that's set equal to zero which implies that I1 is equal to I2. Let's apply KCL at node B. Here the incoming current is I2 and the outgoing current is I3. So I2 minus I3 is equal to zero which implies that I2 is equal to I3 which implies that I1 is equal to I2 which is equal to I3. So when devices 1, 2, and 3 are connected in series they all have a common current for a series connection. And that's a key characteristic associated with that type of connection. Whereas in parallel 